which is now equipped as you can see with spotlights 17 quid for the pair this one you know it's going to pull straight in front of me right I'm going to do my introduction are you ready I'm not going to swear I promise well I'll just I'll go to hey John yes can you hear me Earth calling John. Can you see me spotlights? What they look like? Oh, they're brilliant. As in, literally, literally brilliant. Uh, not metaphorically brilliant, but metaphorically and literally brilliant. So they, they do work them. And they complement the daytime running lights, do they? Same as yours? They do. Yours do. It's quite interesting, really. The, um, it makes it like a nice rectangle. I thought you were going to say something else then. Anyway, <laughs> I've shown you mine. You can show me yours right John that's what you want yeah on the motorway in particular yeah right let's go because you've got the same ones haven't you and you've had them on that bike now was it two or three years I can't remember how long do we put them on them no, it must be at least two years now and they're 17 pound a set currently so you can't really argue with that can you even even if they only last a year they would be good value uh, right here's how I fitted them to my bike in a sort of temporary fashion Although they've been on a while. Okie dokie, what we've got here is not a temporary bodge, a temporary test. These spotlights are 10 watt. They're 17 pounds a set off Amazon. Don't ask me for the link because the name changes all the time. Just put in 10 watt spotlights if you're interested. They come with brackets. So, I'm going to be using Nylox on these because they're going low down on the bike. I don't want to come off. So, I've bought some Nylox nuts to go on to replace those ones. Although they are, hmm, they might actually be good enough because they're flanged with a mark on them. Uh, but either way, I'll be using uh, some blue thread lock as well. So they're going on the, on the bike. I bought these cheap mounts. From uh, Amazon as well. Bull bar mounts I think they are. So I've got to find a way to fit those to the lower crash bars. But still be able to access these Allen uh, nuts. I should lock tight those. You can see they've only got short wires on. So I'm going to have to wire them in. So as it's a temporary thing, I'm just going to use a 12 volt switchable cigarette socket, use the cigarette socket on the bar and then just run cable down to the lights. So here is the 12 volt socket. The issue is I want to run a wire down there. There's no obvious place to put it and this is all plastic case encased. There's a cable tie that I've used threaded through from here. There's some sort of bleeder pipe. So I can ring a wire down there, bring it down here, through there, onto the light. So, well away from the forks. So although it's a temporary initial installation, I've used a cable grip there, holder. I've gone behind the plastic there so there's no chance of the forks going anywhere near that as an on-off switch. Fed down, come from behind there, cable tied it there so that should move hopefully.
Costello with Newcastle passenger Gary Wheeler. They got themselves a finish in the opening race on the FHA. It's about level with where the Honda ones were, if you judge by those holes there. So, Fred locked those bolts, he's going to tighten them up. Right, that's solid. I'll have to do quick because the adverts are on the radio. There you go. So here's the feed from the bike. Here's the feed to the light. And this is the feed to the other light. So we're going to solder them all together, seal them, shrink wrap them and then fit the light on the other side. I'm not going to show you how to solder because if you don't know how to solder you shouldn't be doing it. So this is what it looks like halfway through a job. Outdoor soldering, you need a powerful soldering iron for that. Right, ready for some cable ties and we'll give it a try. Okay, so a few adjustments needed but they're ready to test. Well clear of the uh, front wheel approximately where the Honda ones fit anyway so it should be okay anyway let's give them a try there we go not 500 quid like the Honda ones 17 pounds each a few quids of wire but I have got the uh, lower crash bars which weren't cheap obviously can't control these from the firmware but never mind I can turn them on and off on 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 off so yeah this bit's a bit Heath Robinson, but it's good enough for now. Once I take the fairing off and can reroute some wiring, I'll sort that out later. But I'd sooner have the safety of the lights. Oh look! Do it again. I can't see them very well actually. I can see them in my mirror though. Yeah I know. Oh, I've got you in the mirror. Right, so that's how I fitted the lights. We're on the uh, M50. What is this? The M50... Seven, is it? Six. M56. Uh, in bank holiday traffic, everyone wants to go left. And you can see Dr. J's spotlights in my mirror. So I'm very pleased with my spotlights. That's how I did it. Cod your biker is. What am I? Out! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>